Where is can you can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Yes, yes, I can see and can you hear me? Yes. Yes, okay. this is a dream come true. All right. Now, you're here. We were talking about the Mr. Dead Man stuff uh last week. Basically, basically I don't really ever think about this guy, but he used to watch the show. I guess he super chatted a couple of times. I remember reading his name out, seeing him in chat and stuff. Uh and then, you know, I w- I would see Maybe he'd made a, you know, it'd be like recommended in my sidebar. It'd be some stream or some crazy video he'd made about me. So I knew he was out there making stuff about me. I honestly didn't know until I went on his channel last week that he had been making that much. Like his whole channel is almost just almost all about me and some stuff about you and some others. But like, there's a lot of anti Ralph material. I didn't realize that's all pretty much all he did now. Anyway, um, so I was looking through. Basically, I made a comment about him getting fired because I happened to see he's involved with a weight loss contest that I'm involved with. I didn't know that, actually. I was just talking to Surfer. I didn't even know Mr. Deadman was involved. Anyway, so in that video, he mentions, get, mentions getting fired. And he's a piece of shit, so I laughed about it on Twitter. And uh, then the next day he put out a video, which I thought was kind of smart of him because a lot of people hate me, but he put out a video saying that I got him fired. Well, uh, I didn't, of course. Uh, But his story was that a voicemail, he had overheard a voicemail on his, uh, you know, boss's phone, basically, superior's phone, and that it was my voice complaining about him and da-da-da-da. Well, I said it was ridiculous, but there were some people who actually believed it still, and there still are, actually, because they're retarded or they haven't heard the follow-up. Yes, they are retarded. They are very retarded. See, Honorable Sam right here. Now, anyway... Um, then I didn't even know about this, but some guy who, who sends me messages and like, you know, tips and stuff. He said, Hey, check out his stream from a couple days before. Actually, it was a clip from your stream, I guess. Um, where he says the exact same story of, well, you know, the same, uh, parameters, right. That he overheard a voicemail and this is what he thinks really got him fired. Except it was you instead of me that they overheard. Right, so to I mean that's one hundred percent proof that he's just fraudulently making up claims about people, and in order to try to grift super chats, which I mean is kind of sad and pathetic. Uh, but I mean, I guess that's he's in a bad way right now. This man is hungry for the clout too. He has worked on thousands of projects too. They've all failed too. He wants anything. Anything that will get him views so we can get the delicious super chat too. Did you know he wrote erotic fiction about shit? Are you aware of that too? No, I'm not. Now, wait, hold on. I, did, I wasn't aware of that. Go into that. So he wrote two works of fiction called Turbo Slut 4K and Turbo Slut, I believe, 8K. And you can find this. This is real. I'm not making this up. I wish I was. Oh, no, wait, hold on. We'll, we'll keep talking. I'm, I'm going to look it up. Turbo, wait, repeat it. Here, I can send you on Twitter. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll send, send me the link. The I link. Will, will yeah, yeah, send me that. One of them is a part of an anthology. He used to run a thing called Dead Man's Tome, where he would write <laughs> horror anthologies. Oh, yeah? It was fucking terrible, Lou. I could imagine. But the one he wrote in this one, free to download, of course. Oh, wow, generous. Is of course called Dead, uh, sorry, Turbo Slut 4K. Now, this is about his fantasy of an Asian sounds woman. like an eczema. Oh, sorry, no, go ahead. Sorry. Of an Asian woman, he loves the Asian ladies. He runs oh. another show called Men of Culture, but we'll get to that <laughs> too. Yeah, he sh- this lady shits on his face. <laughs> no. In the, in the fiction, you can read it for yourself. It's very oh, graphic, God. very depictive, a wonderful work of literature. Should we do a reading of this on the kill stream one night? What do you think? That would be amazing, girl. It's beautiful. With Dead Man's face up there, right next to it, I think we should... Uh, that would be beautiful. I think that would be touching. What I have doing? purchased his, his novelization oh, of yeah. Turbo Slut, and that's pretty... Not as good as the short story, you. I will say there's less grotesqueries and more of just him running around and being like, I'm a sexy lady. Disgusting. But the short story, that's the good stuff right there, Lou. That's the stuff. But at his core, he is a loser, Lou. He has no original <laughs> thoughts in his head. He's ripped off the pod awful guy. He's trying to grift off of you. He never has had an original thought in his head, Lou. He's a leech. 
He's a fucking loser, Lou. And because of his actions, Lou, his children are going to die on the streets. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Samurai. We don't... <laughs> well, I mean, it does seem he's made some tough choices. You know, made some wrong wrong turns here. You know, I saw even Cog was slapping him around. I was like, wow, this is not good. Um, I mean, he blatantly lied. Did he Did he think that he, nobody would ever see that? I mean, if there's a chance maybe I, you know what, if that guy hadn't sent me the link, I, you know, I might not have known about this, right? I, might, I wouldn't have known about you. I wouldn't have known about his, you know, double story here. And I knew I didn't do it, of course. But, you know, there's a lot of people who don't, you know, don't believe that right they they will take a fucking act of god evidence like this right um what is that what is this is there anything honest about this guy at all he just he seems just like a complete fucking detestable piece of trash i mean well there is something honest about him he will give he gave out his full docs his address where he works in all of his videos he does this all of the time so he is honest about that, apparently. He said he was a CPS a worker, by the way. Right? He said he was, yes, he is a CPS well, worker. Well, it was really dumb to give that channel, information out. Old videos will be like, Texas CPS worker this. He's always bad-mouthing his employer to his viewers. I wonder why he got fired. <laughs> he live streamed about why your employer was shitty. Oh, my God. I got fired. How could this happen to <laughs> What a shock. I got fired. Then if you watch the video, he also talks about, he also talks about, um, oh, he didn't make contact with it. They say he didn't make contact with this family, uh, but he claims he actually did. And they have the evidence. The family has the evidence, but they don't want to turn it over, which, you know, sounds like he's lying and he didn't make contact with some people you're supposed to make contact with, which is a big fucking deal if you're a CPS agent. Uh, it could be a, it could be a life and death situation. I mean, you hope it's not. It probably probably wasn't, but it could be. And I bet he's probably done the same thing many times. He seems like a fucking loser. Uh, and, you know, you don't want him. I'm sure he could do a lot of things. I wouldn't want him to be my C, you know, a CPS agent. That does not seem like the gig he needs to be in. You know what I mean? I, I don't need to be in it either. <laughs> right? Uh, you know, it's, you, you have to have a lot of... Um, you you need to be responsible as fuck to be in a job like that. That guy's not shouldn't be a CPS agent. Like that's fucking retarded. Anyway, um, then he goes on to say, "Oh, all of his coworkers, you know, they constantly badmouth the the clients, which are you know families and stuff, et cetera, et cetera." And it's like, okay, well, that means you were probably right there along with them badmouthing. Well, you think what I'm supposed to just believe? Totally you were just yeah. What he's doing, of course. We're, we're Revealing information about the real life families on his streams. Too weird, though. Like me. Like, how the fuck does he think this does is? Does he okay? actually go into detail for some of those? He does. He talks about what a retard. He doesn't say names. No, but, he but says still. Everything but. You shouldn't no, but you know what? Okay, yeah, it might not be against the law, but it's it's unethical. Like you should, to what some live stream? Maybe if he was talking at a dinner or something to his friends in real life or something, that's one thing. Putting that stuff out on air like that, uh, I don't think that that's yeah, I don't think that's kosher at all. <laughs> you may not have seen this, Sue, but he'd streamed lolly pornography as no. a joke. No, I didn't see that. But he deleted it now. Oh, well. He streamed it for real. He was eating an onion, streaming lolly pornography as a joke, ironically. He did. Did How much of the onion challenge did he? They were trying to get me to do that. I refused because I don't. Did he eat There's, the whole onion? You're a good man. You're a good man. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> so, I don't know. What's he? I haven't seen what he's been saying the last couple of days. Is he? I don't watch him, of course, but. What uh, has he said anything since? Like I, I know he was whining uh, about Cog not believing him, and he's in, he's insisting that you did it despite no really? evidence. Too. He's still insisting that. He's still insisting it. Um, he talked about how he almost lost his marriage because he fell for Discord Discord e girl zoo. Wow, which is pretty pretty funny. Yeah, pretty good. That can be tough. I've done that before. All right, now, uh, also, the TTS wasn't on. Let me turn it on. I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. Live on odyssey.com slash at the Ralph Retort on cozy.tv uh, as well and the YouTube mirror. Uh, and we got, let's see. Let's see. That's about three bills there. 
about 430 or so live right now. Tequila nice. Sunrise Monday grind set. Uh, let's see where are we at with the with the power chat. Oh, here they are. There's so much fucked up shit on the internet. It makes me want to lose faith in God. Well, don't sam don't do that, Samurai. All right. Have you ever struggled with losing faith? No, don't. Even yes. Charles still Go. sent three dollars. Say, bro, that eye patch upside down. He says your eye patch is upside down. No, it's in the oriental position. <laughs> Markom sent three dollars. Lol, he looks like Dan Crenshaw's Weibo son. Great shows lately, Ralph. Dire Grow Ever did way better than I was expecting. Thank you, Markom. I appreciate you guys on both those. Uh, also, let me, because uh, you can't see the the fun thing. Let me uh, move that back over. Since we're doing our interview here, let's see. There we go. Uh, almost halfway there, and we're about we're what about halfway into the show as well. So. Tequila Sunrise. You know, I do the kill stream at night, but this is my daytime show. Uh, that nice. I started doing, uh, I don't know. Sometime. It's been a good show. I've been watching you. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. When do you usually broadcast? I usually broadcast in the evening, uh, usually on um, Saturdays. I do a karaoke stream, traditional oh. Japanese karaoke. Nice. That's okay. I like that. You know what? You made me think that they, they have par karaoke at this uh, live event I'm doing on April 2nd, killstream.live slash bowl there in Dallas, Texas. Uh, so I need to I need to talk about that too. We might do some karaoke. I don't know down there. I need to nice. I need a message. Karaoke is always fun. Now. It's always funny. Now, what else do you know about this fucking piece of shit? Well, I know that he's super angry. At any mild, you know why we're enemies? I said that he didn't get a lot of viewers because he's boring. And this man has sworn wars and wars and wars upon me. And he's never let it go. What's his problem? I don't know. His hands shake in his videos. His hands are shaking like a leaf all the time. He has substance abuse problems, no doubt. Well, you know what? That's the funny thing. I, I, so when I was, saw the weight loss thing, I was like, okay, his whole channel's about me. I'm going to go look through some of these. I looked through his stream. <laughs> he was going through things I needed to do to see my son, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and he was sitting there. Of course, you know, I'm not going to go into it because that's what they want me to do. But I got some stuff going on in court and all that stuff. So... <laughs> He's sitting there and he's going through the, the twelve steps. He's going through the twelve steps of AA, and he's completely fucking trashed. Trashed in a way where you know this guy gets trashed every single night. Like you know what I mean? Like I, and of course he does. And even during the video he made on me the other day with his fraudulent claim, he takes a giant swig uh, out of the Maker's Mark bottle, and you know. Far be it from me to criticize anybody's drinking. I don't care. Drink up, but uh, it is kind of rich seeing this, this guy. Man starts at like 10 a.m. every speech. day with $25 shots, and he's just fucking plowing them yeah. back 10 a.m. every day. It's fucking outrageous. Uh, all right, so what else? I don't know. What else? Just anything else funny about this fucker you got? We'll have to bring you no. back. We'll have to bring you back regularly for some non dead man shit, too. Because you seem like you're pretty funny. We might have to bring you back on the big show. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we, might to bring you, we, might to, we might have you guest. I think a guest co-host from the Samurai uh, you, might, be, might be good on occasion. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. You know, what do one you, thing that really upsets this Mr. Deadman guy, right? If you ever get an argument with Mr. Deadman, I do this one thing really pisses him off. It's really autistic. I look into the camera and I say, I'm big baby. <laughs> and he just loses it. He loses why it. Does he he lose it? it. Why does he lose it? Why does that affect him so much? I don't know. Maybe because, I mean, I don't know. He watched lolly pornography. So who's to say? What a sick bastard. He is a sick guy. Now, <laughs> where, do you see, uh, where do you see him ending up? Where's, it, where's his future taking him? Well, he's probably going to have his 15 minutes of fame, and then people are going to actually watch his content, too. I don't and think everyone's so. Everyone's just going to disappear. I no, I've streamed so. stream right. this guy like hundreds of times. It is painful. It's no, awful. I was going to watch him. 
No, I don't think. I think you're wrong there. I think this. It was more like his three minutes of fame, uh, and it wasn't even really fame. It was just me saying this guy's a lying piece of shit. Uh, and so then he's gonna go back. I already see people kicking him around. He's gonna go back to obscurity. But uh, you're not though, because I think we're gonna bring you back uh, on Tequila Sunrise nice. and uh, the Kill Stream. Yeah. So the Samurai's leveled up today. Go ahead and promote your shit. Uh, the Laughing Dymo. I do karaoke. I'm on Twitter too. You can find me. Oh, I'm Big Baby. Thank Jim you One. That. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, uh, Hater. I appreciate your $3. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, anything else real quick before you go? Um, uh, can I shout out to my homies? Yeah, shout them out, man. All right. I'd like to shout out the Council of Evil. I'd like to shout out Bubbles, Trifox, um, Singed Halo, Shaylin. And, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. It's been great. Thank you, man. We'll have you back. Like I said, we'll we'll bring you back. I'm thinking just having you. (laughs) Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, Just you, just as like a guest co-host, just commenting, you know, talking to me about the news and stuff like that, maybe interviewing uh, some of these people. I think that that would be good uh, for sure. I think that would be good content. It's Uh, an honor, dude. It's an honor, dude. It's an honor. The Honorable Samurai, as I said the other night, uh, showing his honor again. Have a good one, sir. Have a great day. All right. Now that was. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> oh, what's his Twitter? Hold on. I'll get it. Okay. I'll get his Twitter. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.